fishing happy hookaholics um, we're gonna do a little bit of a quick twofer so I've got two deliveries three packages so because uh, this one came from shop Carl's catch Co and uh, it came in two separate packages I don't know why they put one item in one big box uh, and we've got from another cool bait company um, we've got a little bag of goodies in here so we'll save that one for last right off the bat as you all know, Shop Carl's has this awesome program uh, going called uh, their, what is it, lure insurance, Shop Carl's bait insurance, tackle insurance. Um, and basically the program is if you buy baits from Shop Carl's and it's within a certain price parameter and say you're out fishing and you happen to cast into a tree and you snap off on your light line. Um, and you lose your bait, you can claim, uh, as long as it's within a certain time frame of when you purchased it and when you lost or broken or what have you, your, your lure, your bait. Um, and I think some other items might also apply, but I'm going to stick specifically with lures personally because I know that for a fact. Um, you can actually set an insurance claim and have that bait replaced. Uh, the only caveat is when you go to do a claim, you have to also have a $25 purchase of items being shipped to you. So as long as you have a cart with $25 worth of value items in it, and we all, terminal tackle, other colors of things that we might want to pick up, soft plastics that we might want to renew, uh, you know, re-up on, um, it's easy to make $25. Uh, so I lost a lure and uh, I had to file a claim. So we'll get to that, but let's start off with whatever's in this single box. This might be the, the one I claimed. But they'll, they'll let you uh, get that lure back for free. And I think that's really cool. I don't think any other company, you can't go into, um, you know, any other bait store, bait and tackle, and go out fishing and two weeks later come back to the, to the bait and tackle shop, even with your receipt, and say, I broke this off. Give me another one. Um, that ain't going to happen. All right, so this is not the one, not what I lost. So... I decided, out of uh, pure happenstance, because I already had one in the crayfish pattern, I decided I wanted one in, oh, excuse me, I had one in the bait fish pattern. And this one is in the craw pattern. So I decided to break down and go against my nemesis there. This is the, the oh, God darn it, <laughs> rattle by. So the Biospawns Rattlebot, this is in the craw pattern. I don't care what anybody says. They're the same bait, just a little bit different. There are, there's nuances, and I'm not a man of nuance. When I want a different bait, I want a completely different bait. That being said, yes, as, a par, as a, opposed to having more angular and, and straight-edged carvings, these are more fluid and rounded, um, and they have a little cup on the bottom where the other one has more of a... A, uh, like a fluted section down here for, to imitate gill plates for the bait fish profile as opposed to the crawfish profile. But the overall dimensions and shape are identical. The weight systems, I believe, are identical. Um, that being said, they were on sale. It's a half ounce, two and a half uh, inch Biospawn Rattlebot in, what are they called? Magma. Magma craw pattern. And we all know red kills here's the big box so this has definitely got my missing lure and uh or my lost lure and a couple other happy things that i thought i'd re-up on so with the other order to give me a combined 25 so i could get my bait insurance we're going to start at the bottom because that first item is what i got replaced Wu tungsten's never chip i got some barrel weights from Wu tungsten isn't that nice all right, now I hope they're in here. <laughs> well, there's the card. <laughs> Jeez. All right, 
I got. All right, they're in here. One, two, oh, yeah, yeah. three. This is very anticlimactic. So, I've got three tungsten barrel weights by Wu Tungsten. How they ended up outside the package, but then the clam shook. This, somebody was fucking around. <laughs> because there is no conceivable way, the way that this, this clamshell was designed, right? So you have the clamshell that opens up. Then you have an inter, inside interior packing that these fit in. So somebody opened this up, took these out, stuck them in there, then proceeded to place the plastic back inside without putting in the card Let's see if I can do this see because they only fit one way in there There's, there we go and there you go and they're supposed to be three eighths ounce let's see now now I'm intrigued because uh, I want to see if these are all three eighths or if they're heavier uh, that's three eighths yeah yeah three eighths three eighths and three eighths so three three-eighths ounce tungsten barrel weights. Uh, what I use these for? Uh, I honestly, I use these for a semi-light line free rig. So if you don't know what free rigging is, look it up. It's similar to a Carolina rig, basically. It's just a modern interpretation of a Carolina rig. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I do a little bit of free rigging and I like to use uh, no-slip weights uh, either lead ones or in this case i want to try out these for a slightly lighter line presentation um with these little three eighths ounce barrel weights in tungsten and uh just be able to have a little free rig going with, with that all right so that's that that was item number one or two actually because of the the bio spawn over there next i got some spinner bait hooks by stickies these this is a trailer hook um it's a one aught black nickel trailer hook so when I run my spinner baits, or like I said with that Freddy the Frog, um, the hook on the Freddy the Frog is so far up on the legs that you get short struck and they'll go after the, the plastic leg rather than catch the, the hook because it's up at the butt of the Freddy the Frog. So I like to put a little stinger hook off of that hook to extend it out a lot closer to the, to the legs. So you're more apt to get a good hook up and uh, be able to land the fish. So I got one of those which is good. All these to help me get to that 25. Um, it's a one aught, so it's a finer wire. So, you know, there's that. I got some, these I've been looking for. I couldn't find them in my store, least of all in this color. Uh, I've seen a lot of the Yamamoto soft plastics, but this is specifically designed for chatterbaits and I've had great success using them on chatterbaits, but I couldn't find this specific color. And then I also got it in black blue. So these are the Gary Yamamoto Senkos. Again, I got a full pack of black blue, which I already had some, but I could not, in my local region, find the green pumpkin with white. So it's a green pumpkin with black flake, and it's got a white pearl belly. And these are these are great uh, imitators for again for bluegill. Uh, you know what I mean? These work awesome on that chatterbait. They're designed and you know segmented or stamped segmented, and that little tail on the back pulses and kicks at the exact same rate as the blade on that chatterbait they're just to die for so uh i i love these things i do these are these are like besides besides curly tail grubs this is my go-to chatterbait uh soft trailer or soft plastic uh trailer so i got two packs one in the black blue one in the uh green pumpkin with the white pearl belly uh next to last i've got a ten thousand fishes yoda worm Again, going for that bluegill pattern, I got the green pumpkin pearl again to get bluegills, minnows, shiners. Um, you can also kind of get a shad uh, imitation out of all of these. These are just those natural tones in uh, clear to slightly stained water. These work well. Uh, so I got those. I have these in black and blue. I have these in red. I have these in a lot of different colors, but this two-tone uh, is, is deadly around me. So I got a package of those. That covered my $25. With that, the whole the whole order actually came with the shipping charge of $1.66, came to $26.66. So I hit $25 on the dot with that list of items. All to replace, 
Yeah, my buddy, Mike Buka, Kachko, Collab, uh, my baby bull gill. So I lost the bull gill um, that I had. It wasn't exactly this color, but I wanted to try this pearl bone. Um, so I got a pearl bone to replace the one that I lost. And this is normally a $10, $11 item. Didn't cost me a penny. So thank you very much, uh, Catchco, for having this program. I hope it's successful. I hope it doesn't doesn't end. It keep, continues on because it's uh, it's definitely something valuable, uh, especially to a bank angler. Uh, although maybe not for long. Um, we'll see how that goes. There might be a surprise video coming up shortly. I'm waiting on a return phone call. But uh, this lure insurance program that they started. If you're a, a Shop Carl's Club member, I suggest try it out. Um, if you do shop, I want to say a half dozen times a year. Uh, you don't have to shop every week or every month or every day. Um, but if you shop a half dozen to a dozen times a year for a good quantity of bait, soft plastics or whatever, and the items that Mystery Tackle Box Shop Carl's carry, um, again, I'm not specifying that it's going to be the things that you necessarily use if you are stuck, you know, if you're in middle Tennessee and you like your local bait and tackle that comes from a Tennessee soft plastics manufacturer, you're not going to want to turn to Yum or, you know, Gary Yamamoto or whatever. But if you are into um, KBD soft plastics and, you know, coffee scent or Yum dingers or what have you, and Shop Carl's has those in stock on a day-to-day -day basis, um, those are things that you use constantly. It might behoove you to, uh, to hit up Shop Carl's and join their Carl's Club membership. The discounts are there. Uh, they definitely make it a lot more cost-effective and economical for tackle junkies like myself uh, to, uh, to, uh, to afford going out and replacing all the ones we tend to lose that get bit in half by toothy critters when you're fishing for bass and a pike wants to bite it, uh, <laughs> which has happened. So, uh, as always... I appreciate you, uh, you stopping in. Remember, we still have our Christmas in July. It hasn't been announced yet. The box is back there. And, uh, in fact, I decided I'm going to have to probably use that Busby box because it's bigger than the original box to fit all the stuff in because there is stuff in that box that I haven't even shown you yet. Um, and I'm probably not going to show. I'm just going to give that box to that winner. You can go back and catch, you know, throughout my videos a little... Uh, little excerpts of what is in the Christmas in July giveaway. As always, to qualify, you only really have to meet a finite criteria, a small amount of criteria, and that is be subscribed. Be visibly subscribed. So on your channel, have your subscriptions, the, the channels that you are subscribed to, have them as public so that when I click over there, I can see my, uh, my little circle picture on your homepage. Uh, that I am a subscribed channel to you. Uh, go back and comment on as many videos as you can. Comment comments that react and are part of that video. So go back and watch uh, the video on box 99 of the Mystery Tackle Box uh, retail. Comment about that box. Make it valuable. Comment something. Uh, interact. Uh, don't just say, cool, got it, whatever. Hi, nice box, and then click. Because those probably aren't going to get you chosen. Uh, comments that actually have something to do with the context of the video that proves to me that you're actually paying attention, that means a lot to me. Because uh, nobody wants to be sitting here doing these videos and uh, you know feel like it's just time wasted. So as always, I do appreciate the loyal ones, that the loyal uh, fans and fisher fishermen and hookaholics and lady anglers out there that spend a little bit of time uh, hanging with me here, and I, that's why I do this. I want to give back uh, to all the people who help support me in the easiest way possible, and that's just spending a little time and hanging out. Uh, you know, I don't ask for money. I don't get any of these boxes or anything as part of some brand deal. I, you're not going to see me like fishing with Becca with a Guggen Squad stuff on my chest because I'm not a Guggen Squad member. You don't see me with Shop Carl's hats or Tackle Warehouse memorabilia. Um, when I do get stuff from mail order subscription boxes like I got from um, Angler's Hall, they gave you a t-shirt because you subscribe. Yeah, I have an Angler's Hall t-shirt, but I pay for every single one of those Angler's Hall boxes. Uh, speaking of which, recently I was refunded my Angler's Hall. So 
I got my money back that had been withheld for about three months, uh, you know, full disclosure. Uh, they did refund it. Uh, Whitney, who is the CEO of Anglers Hall, sent me an email. They were decimated by the supply chain issues with COVID. Uh, and to this point, they still, I guess, are dealing with it. I don't know why it would be such a main issue, you know, six months out or so. But that all being said, I told him quite bluntly, his lack of transparency, the company's lack of transparency, the outright uh, silence, radio silence, when they stopped progressing boxes, leaving people like myself and some of you out there who have subscribed to Angler's Hall, uh, whether or not it was because you saw the boxes that I had re uh, that I revealed or not, or you'd seen it on their own Facebook posts or what have you, um, when you leave us hanging without an explanation, without any word that, hey, we paused our shipments, we're having supply chain issues, we're, our warehouse burnt down, whatever the honest answer might be, um, and you just have us sitting here twirling our thumbs saying, wait a minute, January came, didn't get a box. February came, didn't get a box. April, May, now it's June, no box. Um, so not being transparent and honest with your customer base is one of the least respectable things a corporation can do. Um, the most valuable thing that any company can do to keep customer satisfaction is something like what MTB still surprisingly remains to do. Uh, speaking of their little program that they have, you know, it's not a loss to them. They can afford to give away a bait or two or four per year, uh, especially when you're covering the cost of that loss in the required purchase within sequence, you know, $25 covers their shipping they're not losing money you know believe me uh, especially when they're buying these things pennies on the dollar in big bulk you know when you're buying half a million of a bait you're not paying 19.95 for a bait you're paying six dollars but you're putting it in a box that costs 25 dollars to get and with all the things in that 25 dollar box maybe it's only five items there might be 18 to 20 dollars worth of actual purchase merchandise they're making the five dollars on it they're pulling a profit it might be minuscule and the, and the margins might be tight, but it's still profitable. Otherwise, the company would be out of business. You, you'd go bankrupt. You can't give more than you receive. That's just a fact, especially when you're employing all these people. And they do support a lot of YouTubers out there, Bee Fishing uh, being one of them, uh, and, uh, and many others. So with all that said, Angler's Hall may, may start back up in the near 2-4 future. I don't know. I don't have any other insight into that, uh, but I am hopeful, and I did leave it on the table that when and if they are going to uh, start shipping boxes again, send me an email, let me know. What's sad is it was an exemplary system. They sold to you a high-end box, high price tag, not as high as what I'm considering one of the biggest scams right now, Fish Vault. Um, you know, it was, it's $40 cheaper than fish bolt, $41 cheaper than fish bolt. Um, but for $109, I collected actual fishing specific items, gear, tools, apparel, baits, you name it. That's what they supplied. Um, they didn't get to the point at that moment of like fish vault did with the, you know, proxy somewhat old uh version of a fish finder um i'm happy with fish vault sending the fish vine the fish finder and living up to their advert they didn't back out of that and scam anybody that way but there's way too much in those boxes where you get a fish finder and of nine items you've got two items that can be fish related and the rest is camping survivalist it's just not angler it's not a fish vault it is, I went camping, and here's something to catch some fish in the river next to my campsite vault. Um, that's not really what I subscribe for, but that so far in the five or so boxes that I've gotten from them, that's all they seem to be showing. They, you know, it is here and there. All that, uh, I want to keep this short, so I'm going on like 20 minutes now. I appreciate you standing by with me. Like, subscribe, go back, watch the videos from this year, from the time I, I mentioned the... It's only going to be videos from the time I announced the Christmas in July giveaway up until whatever time I happen to announce 
the Christmas of July picks will be coming. So I'll make a video and I'll say, we're going to pick the Christmas in July winner. And on that video, that'll be the last time you can comment. And then the next video will be revealing the random picker, whoever uh, happens to be chosen. Um, I will do the choosing of the winner for Christmas in July no more than no more than three days after I post the video. So the video that announces that, that the winner will be chosen, you'll have three days to comment on that video and any other video you want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a random video out of my catalog from that start Christmas in July uh, giveaway announcement up until that Christmas in July uh, winner will be chosen video. One of those videos in there will get picked and then I will pick a commenter out of that video and that person will win several hundred dollars worth of gear, probably uh, at a hundred dollar shipping cost at this point because I know that weighs a good 40 pounds. <laughs> um, so with that all said, again, my heart goes out to all of you. Uh, I appreciate, you know, the ability to do this. And I hope whoever wins all that goodies, I hope you pay it forward. Take some of the stuff that you know you're going to use. Anything that you think, ah, it's good, but it's not my cup of tea. I don't do uh, crank baits. I don't do spinner baits. I don't do jerk baits. Find an angler, young, youth angler, veteran angler, what have you, um, person with disabilities who fishes. Take them out fishing or give them the lures, box it up, give them away. Make little care packages, little Ziploc baggies. Leave them sporadically around known public fishing waters with a little note, you know, free for whoever. Give forward, because that's what this world is about. It's about giving, sharing, a community, and helping one another. And I think uh, the peace that fishing gives to many people, including this, uh, this guy right here who has enough stress to uh, choke, a, choke a horse sometimes, uh, I think that's the key, is uh, living your best life. So, I'll catch you all on the next cast. Peace, O'Colics. And good luck.